Okay, I see a muzzle here. He's in this house. Look at that guy going in circles in that doorway back there. What an idiot. Hello everyone, welcome back to Contraband Police. Jumping back in to get through this job, pretty much at this point. Working for this goddamn guy that just hides and, and screams on his little microphone, goddammit. One day, hopefully we can fight him as the final boss. So uh, we're going to try to see what we can get into today. Uh, basically, that just means seeing if we can get uh, three of these in a row. I'll be happy if we get three perfects, uh, or at least three justified. That's all that matters. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what we can get into. How you doing, sir? Just gonna go out and open this up. You got your uh, documentation. Oh, Honestly, at this point, you're probably gonna be let go anyways, even though something might be wrong. Uh, documents. Thank you so much. I do see a lot of vehicle damage with this though, so definitely gonna be something we're gonna pay attention to. Very weird song. Okay, there we go, it's actual music. Sounded like something bad was gonna happen. Everything's looking good with this guy. Don't tell me this. I don't want to hear it. You got a lot of vehicle damage, sir. It's not good. Okay, let's get his cargo out. This is where I have to pay attention. And I think the fact that we don't see the stuff that's on that board there is probably an issue as to why we are overlooking it easily. So let's mark this up just to kind of see if it's going to correlate good. And then I'll have to reference it to that board there. That's where I think it went wrong because everything could be right, which is why my brain was like, okay, everything checks out. So this guy has to be good to go. Well, that's not the case. Uh, chances are, chances are that was it. Okay, sir. Uh, let's go to the board then. So, food six, household appliances three, chemicals four. Oh yeah, this is where we were having troubles last time because we were pretty much having to um, just guess on what the stuff was because it wasn't broken down in a logistical manner. But um, all right, fuck it. So... He had 17 cements. I do not remember going over 17 cements. Okay, let's let's check this out. So, uh, cement 17, check on that. Gas range is going to be one. Good. Refrigerators two, looking good on that. Cheese crates two. Did I not get the salt or is he trying to... Chemical agents five. Okay, either I fucked up or this guy is attempting to smuggle shit in. Okay, now there is chemical agents, three. What else did he have? Cheese crate, chemical agents. When he already marked two cheese crates. Shut up over there. So he didn't even mark the salt stacks at all. Where's the salt stacks? Okay, right here. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. How did I miss that? Let me make sure I have everything then. He's definitely missing the chemical agents, for sure. I don't know how I missed those bags of salt. It's okay, so he does have the salt three. But he's trying to get uh, two more chemical agents in. Wait, chemical agents five. And only three are coming back. Am I missing something here? What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. What am I missing with this? Is this his? No, it's not his. That's not his. Sir. Okay, I think I remember doing this uh, last guy as well, too. I'm, I'm really confused, though, because it says... He has more chemical agents than he does, but I'm confused. Okay, let's go back over here and look at this. I have everything marked, so I don't know why I would be saying that, but we're going to have to go off what it says, and let's just see if we can not fail on this one. So for the uh, chemical agents, he has five marked. On our 
official list, he has three marked. Let's go ahead and take a look at our board. Since we know we have everything highlighted or written down, let's go ahead and see. So, what would be considered food here? So, this would be five. So, he can have six, so he's good on food. Uh, household appliances. One, two, three. Okay, so he would be good on that. Chemicals can only be four. Well, why the fuck would he mark down five then? Oh, interesting. It tells me the maximum amount of goods per category. Food times six. Household appliances times three. Why the fuck is my... God, I have to do this within the time limit, bro. Jesus Christ. Give me a fucking break over here. Oh, good. Now we're going to the sawmill. Okay. Good, and I have five minutes to do that. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, I should have waited before I took that. Okay, anyways, let's just focus on this. So, um... At least we know here. So, like, if I just highlight over this, I guess it tells me what type it is a little bit better. So... That'll actually help tremendously. So they do tell us, but in the most fucking hidden goddamn way possible. So, uh, six foods. So, two foods. Good on the food. Household appliances. Three. One, two. Two on that. Good. Chemicals. Unless... Oh, no. I, I see. Because there could be quantities, too. So we just want to see what it kind of breaks down to and then do a, a check. So, uh, chemicals is four. I don't see any more chemicals here besides this one. Four. And for some reason, the dumbass wrote five. I don't... Which may... And he only has four in the first place. Unless it were supposed to be checking his discrepancy. I think he's good. I think he wrote down five accidentally. Although he has really, really bad issues with this car. I can't turn him back for that. Let me just double check and make sure that he's not attempting to do anything here. Because something's wrong. And I think that might be it. I think just because he wrote it down doesn't mean that it's wrong necessarily. But that we would go, oh, hey, sir, look, you fucked up. You are good to pass. I don't know. We're going to try it and see. I can't remember what I did last time with this, but I guess we'll fucking see. Oh, see, they're going to go really bad. It's going to go really good. All right, sir. So shut your fucking mouth or I'll fail it on purple. <laughs> on purple. I'll fail it on purple. God damn it, dude. Um, What is life? So I see a whole bunch of stuff wrong with the car. We'll do that in a second. Let's check his information really quick. Uh, Malik, Malik, Badrin. Badrin. Okay, looking good on that. 693S. Okay, so I see something wrong with this passport number. Definitely not good on that. Let's uh, let's go for the valid. So June seventh, looking good. December 9th of ninety or eighty one, eighty one, both good on that. Let's see. We already saw that there was a discrepancy in those. So I mean, this is wrong, but technically, I, I can't remember what the fuck I did. But I mean, his entry regulations technically wouldn't stop him because he doesn't have anything that would. That's like really fucking with my mind right now. 6315. So his vehicle's overweight. Vehicle weight. I think that would stop him, though. So no matter what... So, like, the discrepancy that we saw would have allowed him to go because he fucked up. But then now this would stop him from going. Uh, let's see. As a part of Border Control Traffic Scrum Statistical Office... However, it should be remembered that the bad technician of the car is not a reason... Okay, so... Doesn't matter how their vehicle looks or operates. We can't deny them. Okay, so this guy would get denied. Um, I'm not going to mark him for the inspection. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's just finish the rest of this stuff. I'm going to smack the shit out of him. So it's... uh the fuck is it going on? So Zavid is going to be the vehicle. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that really quick. Okay, so... Four-door, small sedan with a rack, possibly. Circular lights. What the fuck? Is this guy stupid? 
Oh yeah, the plate's wrong too. Wow, this is funny. Vehicle type, registration, number is wrong. Vehicle weight's wrong. Cargo list. God, I want to mark the cargo list because he... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna fucking... What does this photo look like? Yeah, well, I'm at, that's him, so at least that's right. Expiration date's good. Name and surname. I think his name was wrong, yeah? No, his name was right. Okay, I think we're good. So, entry regulations... I don't know. We're gonna... Let's just look at the car. At this point, it's starting to get more confusing than anything. So, I for sure saw one tire over there and some lights. Uh, so, one light. Oh, shit. Did we just fucking balls, dude? I hate that shit. If we can't... We can't leave the fucking... Thing. We can't leave the checkpoint. So, why are they gonna send us a mission? Oh, that is the stupidest shit. Oh, we still here? Oh, do we have to restart that whole fucking thing? Did it just make different things? I will slap the shit out of this goddamn game. Oh, that's not too far. Okay. All right, four minutes, 55 seconds. Let's see if there's, I could just find the things that I would fail this guy for really quick. Oh, and they're all gonna have such fucking large amount. What a shitty time for this to come in. Okay, if it gets too close. Oh my God, and there's even more. Motherfucker. I'm gonna just see here. This is such a toxic little loop that we're in right now, dude. I'll be fucking damned. Okay, I mean, shit, if I would have known that, see, that's so redundant because before we've tried to leave, even during a mission, and it hasn't let us. I don't know, I should smack myself, I guess. Fuck it. Oh, I was about to say, bitch, don't tell me to fucking go back. Oh, I don't know how much ammo I have. Oh, you already know there's about to be a shootout. What's my inventory? Don't know. I'm in the car. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, this is going to be fucking interesting then. It's not too far, though. So I guess if we do fail, we can boogie back over. At least we'll be able to finish the goddamn checkpoint over there. No shootout, right? Keep your guns in your pockets, okay? Oh, this is just a... Uh, this is such a fuck. It's set up to where I know what's going to happen. About an hour ago, this guy pulls up here. He parked in the woods, stood there, took a fat shit, and drove off. That's good. He looked like he was waiting for someone. As soon as he got out, a black savid suddenly appeared from which three guys in baklavas came running out of it. The poor man got a heavy beating. And when he was unconscious, they stuffed him into a trunk and drove south. Yeah, I told you it's going to be a fucking shootout. Okay, so we have to search the car. Maybe it won't. That would be nice. It, we ain't going to do shit with our van that's on fire. Is this the car? I would assume this is it. What the fuck are we going to... Oh, I see something. We got a wallet. There is motherfucker. I probably have a hella drugs on me, huh? No, I just have a whole bunch of tools. Fucking A. Okay, what's the least important? Submachine gun ammo, pistol ammo. At least I got a lot of ammo on me, though. So I should drop some of this bullshit. I know I got some of it back at the... Uh... Okay, I should keep the ones that have full... Oh, I just broke the shit out of that guy's window. I'm sorry. All right. That should be good. I don't think I need to know or have any more. Okay. Let's talk to the manager really quick. Hopefully, we don't need any more room to get through this. Okay, sir. Oh, Dimitri, Dimitri. He must have gotten himself into something again. He's been working here for a year. He often sticks his nose into other people's shit. Okay, I, I was talking to him. Who is Kozlov? Is it this guy? Hey, oh, here. What's what's wrong with this dude? Are you okay? Hmm? Are you... No, that's... You're not the right person. Well, who the fuck do I have to talk to? 
If this is Kozlov, I was already talking to him. Why the fuck do I have... What the fuck? Is there someone else here? Oh, shit. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hello, sir. Nope. You're not him. Who the fuck is Kozlov? Why does it seem like people are walking around like zombies? What is going on, dude? What is this? We're definitely missing someone. Someone's standing somewhere. Chances are back of the building, because why the fuck not? Oh, you're back of the building. Let me guess. You're the... Of course. It came out really stupid. I thought I would find something of value there. Working in a sawmill gives uh, no walk in the park, and I have a family to support. Okay. All I found was this notebook. Please take it, and let's forget the whole thing. So he stole the fucking notebook? Oh, it's an actual... I thought it was a fucking computer. I am getting closer to the truth. Have to check other leads. Talk to your tool leader. Search the warehouse at the Drunken Bear Inn. Ask the sawmill workers. Explore the ruins in the vicinity of the quarry. Search the old ruins. Jesus. This is just like the other goddamn mission that we were at. All right. Well, we have five minutes to get down to the lost one. To attempt to find whatever's in... I was about to steal their car, Lulz. Uh, To find whatever's in the old ruins. Chances are it's going to be a person who was taken from his car with a whole bunch of zombie witnesses across the street. Definitely a solid fucking move. Where are we going? So we're gonna go down this road. We're gonna hit a motherfucking right. Probably not the best idea to be driving with a map open. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does matter because if this car takes one more fucking bullet, I am probably going up in flames. Uh, let's see how this is gonna go though. I know it's gonna be a shootout at some point. That's for sure. Is this the right way? Oh my fucking god. Well, how about you get the fuck out of the road, dumbass? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to drive here. Give me both lanes. All lanes. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of thugs in this bitch. It's gonna be a fucking shootout. He wants me to search the ruins. I doubt these guys are gonna let me search. Yep, that's what I was a fucking afraid of. And you know they're gonna rush me. Because they're rushing. Oh fuck, here we go. Oh my god. Where is he shooting? Right now, I've got to watch both fucking sides. Suck a fucking ass, motherfucker. Ow. Oh, good. They're throwing grenades, too. So if I don't see the grenade they throw, this vehicle's going to fucking blow up. Someone's shooting over here, but I don't know what he's shooting at. Oh, this is a bad position. Who are you shooting at, bro? Maybe they're out of grenades. I don't want to waste ammo. There we go, one down. Someone sounds like they have a sniper or rifle. Nice, did I get him? Close. Someone's over here. They can see me when I look. Oh, yeah, that's a fucking grenade and a half. Okay, so we're pretty... We can tell when they have the grenade and when they throw it at us. So it's not... Oh, it's out. Fucking bullshit. He is ripping my car up. There you go. Please don't be waves of this bullshit. Oh, 288. God damn, I got rounds. Where is he's he's right up. Fuck you. Yeah, that guy has the same gun as me. Yeah, he's down. How's that working over there? Really, really good, I see. The fact that he's actually still shooting, even though I can't see me, is interesting. Most games wouldn't do that. I don't know if it's lazy or if it's cool. I'm not sure how to perceive it. Wow, their grenade throws are not coming as far as the vehicle, so I don't think I have to worry. The other guy is in that little crack. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. And then he shoots and is... Oh, there's more. What is he... He's running in circles. What a fucking idiot. Okay, let's not just stand there like that. Not a good idea. I want to get this guy. Let's get this guy. I'm going to get a reload. We're just going to mag dump over there. Uh, 
That didn't do anything, and I'm also taking rounds on the right. Oof. Okay, they crashed. I thought we were fucking getting into a, a fucking another thing there. I think that made a move, yeah. They're fucking glitched and it's pissing me off. And then they still, oh, there's someone else getting me from a different angle. I didn't even see him. Okay, I'm getting a little concerned. We're not low on ammo, but we're wasting a lot of it for what seems like no reason. There's also someone over here. I can't see him though. Did I flank him? This is no time limit. You know he's like right here, but where the fuck is he? Okay, I see a muzzle here. He's in this fucking house. Look at that guy going in circles in that doorway back there. What an idiot. I got it. Yeah, that got one. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, got another one. There's someone over here, so I gotta be careful. Nice. He, they're just firing over there like blind fucking raccoons. How's that working? Yeah, see, this guy's facing me, but his partner's not doing shit. Oh, I can look up like that? Well, that's cool. Okay, there we go. He's down. We still got one we gotta worry about. Okay, there we go. Fucking 89 rounds left in this fucking shit. And we still got Beavis and fucking Butthead over here. I'm going to switch the pistol. We're going to start. Oh, I just slapped that son bitch. Didn't even know what the fuck hit him. Oh, what a dick. Fucking saved a grenade for us. Wow. All right, that's fine. I know where he's at, though. Come on, show me his little fucking orange thing. Oh. Bitch. That was for sitting there and flanking me. Okay, we're getting some ground. Come on, where you at? Oh. Bitch. How dare you sit there. The guy that's running in circles, I think he's still around here. Okay. Oh, no. No, get him. Oh, my God. That had to have been him. I like how he's full idiot mode when we're far back. Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Was that it? Please, dear God. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, it's the snake symbol. Interesting. Okay, we discovered one of uh, ours is a double agent. Thanks to him, Ivan was sent to a labor camp yesterday. Be village of the police are on our trail. Oh yeah, this looks like a super friendly place with automatic doors in the 80s. That's a uh, nice. This is going to be good. I don't have. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they want me to go in here. Wait, that looks like my guy. If they start shooting at me and they are my own guys, I no. Okay, this is this is a safe zone, huh? That's in the middle of fucking nowhere. How you doing, Sergeant? Ah, uh, uh, you're probably mean Ivan. What? There's been a guy here a few hours. He's already managed to beat up another prisoner, okay? You'll find him in the pit with the others. He's the bald guy with the red beard. I doubt he wants to talk to you in good faith. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but... We're probably going to be on a time limit, so we've got to, you know, figure this shit out. So, let's find the lost one. Wherever the fuck he would be. How do I get down there? Oh, shit. Might as well shut it so we don't have an escapee. Is it just one? Hey, you mind uh, taking a second? Mm -hmm. Yes, hello. How you doing? Nope, not him. Oh, you're just smoking. <laughs> you police bastard, do you think I'll tell you something? I will die sooner. Okay, well, I can tell. You're smoking a cigarette in the corner. 
Uh, make the prisoner talk. Oh, right in the fucking throat. Just fuck off. Talk, bitch. Come on. You better talk. Come on, motherfucker. Speak. Let me know. A cemetery. A, a cemetery. A cemetery? Okay, well then that means he's dead. If they brought him to a cemetery, they don't bring him to a cemetery to fucking have some tea, so... Uh, yeah, he's definitely dead, so I don't know why I'm on this fucking scavenger, uh, scavenger hunt anymore. Oh, fuck your- fuck your prisoners. I don't give a shit. Fuck this camp. Bullshit. We've been to this fucking cemetery before, and instead of search the cemetery, how about they say battle for the cemetery? Because you already know that that's what this is gonna be. I have 80 rounds left in this fucking thing, dude. Okay, well, here goes fucking nothing. Where's a good spot to hide? I guess over here. Fuck it. We're just gonna have to find this son of a bitch. If they just start populating and they're not even here, I'm gonna be upset. Belov. Belov. Bluv. Where the fuck are you? I think he's gonna be in something or is he gonna be buried? Oh, he's gonna be in one of these, I bet. Watch him. I, he's already going to be dead, bro. Oh, you can go into the back of this one. What the fuck? There's fresh blood here. Uh, this isn't good. I feel like we're going to get trapped. Oh, he killed them both. Jesus. Good God. Comrade, how did you find me? Uh, someone's people tortured me here, but I managed to seize their weapons. How? But you got shot in the process. I have evidence of cooperation between the gang and the Blood Fist, and I learned the names, meeting places. I know what their next move will be. See, we're gonna get sh shot in the back of the head or something. Help me up. I think we have to go to... You think? I guess we'll help. I want to see what this is transpiring to. I feel like this is the storyline here. Belov is trying to tell you the details of his investigation, but you barely understand what he's saying. The wound of his stomach is bleeding more and more every moment. When you reach the hospital full of hope, when you reach the hospital full of hope, you hand him over to the care of doctors. That's it. Damn, 1600. That's all going to go in a fucking heartbeat to all these fucking failed inspections. Thank you so much for waiting, sir. It's been a real fucking shit show. All right, let's finish these uh, vehicles here. All right, is your stuff out? Okay, it is out, perfect. Let's go ahead and get uh, confirmed cargo. I haven't even got your information yet. Documents, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, let's uh, quickly check his stuff here. Take out a little clipboard. We're gonna get all this marked up. This should be a little more cohesive to understand with the household items section of it so uh let's go ahead and take a look so cheese crates he's got two uh cucumber bar barrels three and salt stacks five so that's all gonna be food so he's gonna be way over yeah he's over so i'm gonna do entry regulation so that's uh number one starting him off let's check his face everything looks good with that bahar arshid my god these names are fucking interesting uh, TL1H, TL1H, 1 Ida, or 1 Edward 29, okay. Uh, June 13th, 1981 looks good on that, and July 4th, 1981 looks good on that as well. Uh, let's, uh, see here. Everything else checking out to be good. What's his age? 35, so he's not gonna be the individual we're looking for. Um, so let's go to take a look at his vehicle now. Uh, DH 4044, DEH 4044, Paul Nora. Okay, Bahar Arshid looks good. Uh, 280. Let's just check this since we're here, I guess. It's a Graz Duck. Graz Duck. Should be a truck. Flat nose, small little lip here. That is, that is not the right truck. Okay, we're just going to put that to be wrong since that's what I believe is not right. That looks like a completely different model of vehicle. Uh, 2000 flat. So pretty much everything's been checked on this. So now it's going to be a vehicle inspection report to make sure. Well, we need to probably jump inside and make sure he's not smuggling any stuff. Can't go so detailed on other stuff that I kind of forget to jump in the car and all that. Okay, from what I can see, no lights or anything, so all good. 
Vehicle away, registration, photo, passport numbers. Okay. So this guy's gonna have to be uh denied. Cargo list is wrong. No, the cargo list was right, but he was over. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Alright. Sorry, sir. We're gonna have to deny you today, I believe, right? As a vehicle type. Unless I'm wrong on that, because that would be the only thing that came back incorrect. I'm going to take a gamble on this, because I don't know if that would be the thing, but... Uh, okay, let's get him back to his car really quick. I'm going to tell him to return the cargo. Let's see how this goes by denying him, because he does have one wrong in the uh, thing there, which technically would mean that his registration is wrong. So that wouldn't be a no-go, unless I'm seeing that wrong, but we'll see here. Okay. Okay. It threw a curveball there. I think because everything was correct and there was only one thing wrong, that was kind of like a trick almost. You know what I mean? So that was good that we got that. Means, holy shit, 44. I should use it all right now on <laughs> upgrading the thing before they take it all. Not even kidding. All right, sir. Uh, can I get your documentation? Okay, I clicked the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, let's get your documentation, sir. Thanks. Oh, fucking put a spot all over this goddamn car. Rub my ass all over it, sir. Oh, you're bitching about something else. Sorry, I didn't mean to say I was gonna rub my ass all over your car, sir. That's rude. From what I can see, everything looks good. We do have a tire that's out. As we see him, we might as well just mark it down. That way we're not going back and forth for no reason. No cargo. Okay. Shit. That's what I like to see, making it fucking easy for me. Thank God that not every single person had cargo. Uh, so no confirmed cargo list. That's what I like to see. So let's check this out. Let's check his name. Something seems... Okay, 26. Uh, Jamal Arshid. Jamal Arshid. Jamal Arshid looks good. T783. T783-0996. Good. Valid till. Don't need to check that. June 11th. So good. Transit is the reason. Uh, nationality, Alcabar. I think we're looking for someone, but it's, uh, it, it says something else. I can't remember, but it's not that. Uh, July 17th, uh, May 29th, 1981. So he's good on that for a little. That's a Grasdick. But that's not even, wasn't that the same as the last one? I don't know. IUX1611, IUX1611UT. 4190 is the max weight. 3,400. Okay, so everything's looking good so far. Picture comes back to that guy as well. Uh, from what I can see, this is just an easy go. Oh, no, he has one flat tire, but other than that, that's not anything that would stop him. Oh, two, one, two. So two windows that are broken, or two uh, lights. Missing mirrors, bumpers, defected bodywork. Got mirrors. Is that missing a light there? Because it shows one there. I'm going to just count that as one. Oh, no. There is no missing light. So that's just how the car was built. Weird. Okay. All right. We can, uh, we can let this guy go. So... All right, sir. You are free to enter. Get that stuff fixed with your vehicle. That way you don't careen off the road and... They put your body in a cemetery where we've been finding everyone. All right, next. I think that's going to be the last car of the day. One six. That's three in a row or two or three. I can't remember, but shit. Howdy on a fucking nutshell, dude. That's what I like to see. All right, sir. How you doing today? Give me your uh, documentation if you don't mind, please. Akmatoru. If you don't mind stepping out for me, please. I just, I also got to say that the only sideburn things looks really fucking stupid. Okay. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah, there's nothing to look for in here, just like there shouldn't be anything to look for on your face, but there is. You son of a bitch. Oh, wow, you are you're actually hiding what you can in here, huh? Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, sir, don't move or I'm going to light you up with bullets. Or I could just give you a haircut with the bullets, too. Oh, that's so cool. See, if you get low, you can kind of look in there and see. You already know that this guy's going to have alcohol everywhere. Get in the fucking car. Check the goddamn fucking thing. 
Can I, like, not check this? That's so weird. All right. So nothing on the uh, rear side. Let's go ahead and get this out because you know there might be something hidden. Oh, let's check seats. Yep. You sneaky son of a bitch. Can I use the shovel? No, I have to use a knife. Of course I do. Oh, yeah, you are just one hell of a little smuggler with your little alcohol shit you got going on here, dude. What is this bullshit? I bet you got it in the tires, too. Oh, if you have it in the pig, bro, it's gonna be real fucked up. Something tells me that I'm missing some more. Like, that can't be... Yep. Can I use this? I can. Nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, we got one more alcohol pad. That's it in the bumper? Just one? What the fuck, bro? Okay, let's get the pig. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter, huh? Because this guy's going to jail. Oh, is he a smuggler? 30. No, you're someone else. Okay. All right, well, let's arrest him. That way, it's actually three or four in a row. Okay, sweet. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. And it's nighttime, so that means nothing, honestly. All right, clear the fucking car. We're good here. That's assault. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. That's good. It's just our daily cost. Get some rest. We've got a lot of 120 again, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Probably would have helped if I would have filled out the paperwork, probably, before doing it. But that's not bad. Let's go ahead and see what we got here before ending this day. I'd say that was a much better run. If we just slow it down like that, maybe it won't be as bad. Because now I think we have like $5,000. Okay. Close. Besides the daily cost. But. All right, everyone. That's going to be where we wrap this episode of Contraband Police up. Definitely better progress. That was literally three in a row like I wanted. Possibly four. I can't remember. Uh, but that was some pretty solid stuff. So next episode, if we could slow it down, maybe we could get them right just like that. Because we have like... We did have 5,000. I don't know where it went. I think the daily cost took some, but definitely is the place where we wanted to get. Now we can upgrade stuff without being on like bare minimum. So that's perfect. So nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Contraband Police, and we will see you next video.